morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday, Thursday morning? A little bit of a late video last night, TQ. Yeah, a little bit. We got busy and just... A few technical difficulties. Yeah. Just a few. You Any, know, the and, life of. <laughs> anyways, that video went up probably about midnight last night. Uh, was it midnight? It was pretty late. I don't know what time it was, but it was pretty Jeez. late. I lost time track of time. Just, yeah, the time just went. Anyways, uh, we're still playing catch up because, as you guys know, Monday we went and got the new dump trailer. Yes, we did. So, uh, enough chit chatting. Let's get out here and get to work, TQ. Let's go. What's up? Huh? Oh, not a whole lot. Just gotta throw some more juice in this man. She drinks the fuel for sure. Look at that sun, though. Like, you should take my picture right here. Jeez. <laughs> Yes, I need my receipt. And a coffee. I'll go get you that. Let's fill her up. Well, hello there. Thank you Parker. for the coffee. You're welcome. We have to call the bank though because they stopped my card at 50 bucks. Well, we'll have to figure that one out. Well, they normally lock us out every time we uh, go out of town and then come back. Yes, they do. Good safety well, procedure. Tell them, tell them we're back. Yeah, there's something on your face. Oh, is there? Mm-hmm. Oh, fashion. <laughs> no! Once again, I can't hear you. Uh, that's what I just said. What'd you Obviously say? Obviously, he didn't hear me. <laughs> What'd you say? I said okay. we're busting them out today. Gotta get them done. Get them done. Yeah, boy. Somebody can only work a half day. Yeah. Hey, we haven't did a cone flip in a minute. Here, let me land one real quick. Not that one. I was just practicing. Still practicing. We'll keep it up. They're just taking naps. They're working hard today. Doing what they need to do. So he said someone can only work half a day today. That is true because I have to take my daughter to your doctor appointment that we've had for like a month and a half. So, yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah. Hoodie's coming off. It's warming up, but I'm keeping mine on. I'm burning some calories. <laughs> Burns, yeah, I need to work, do some work in one of those, uh, what are those called? Those sweatsuits? They're like, kind of like trash bag material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sauna suits, that's what they are, sauna suits. Don't forget, real quick guys, uh, we are going to close the October 24th event at Schleybot Engines, October 1st. That's the deadline, that's the cutoff. Uh, we're already over 100 people, so I gotta have a more accurate number for food and for table rentals and chair rentals and everything that we have going on there. So if you are planning on coming, I need you to RSVP by October 1st. If you do not RSVP by October 1st, how many are coming and who you are, uh, to my email, which will be in the description, you cannot come. I'm sorry. All right, guys, so we're out here at beautiful Schleybot Engines. We ordered something new, and it's here. We just ordered it the other day. I couldn't believe it came in like a day later. They can't see over there. Something brand new. And it's big, boys. It's real big. What do you guys think it is? Don't let them know yet, TQ. Don't let them know. Oh, man. I hope it fits on here. Holy cow. It's way bigger than I thought. We may need to leave the X mark here. Um, it's that big, guys. It's gigantic. <laughs> Oh boy. I didn't realize it was this big when I ordered it. <laughs> but we did get the biggest one we could. So here it comes, guys. What's up, boy? Hey. You gonna be able to get it up on there? I'm sure. 
Yeah, if we can keep it on the pallet, that would work. Because I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to get it off the trailer yet. Ah, let me go get the extensions. Okay. Alright guys, so there you have it. Spencer's Lawn Care, keep mowing, keep growing. It's a big part. And this is going to be the part that we need to keep growing. Leaf, leaf removal is a, a big deal for us. Yeah. Holy tube. 14 inches. 14 inches. We could suck a kid up with this thing. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll be able to handle that if that's on. We're going to have to get... Oh, it comes with it. Sweet. We did buy an extension tube also. We have plans whenever we uh, design out our trailer here. I can't see your face. <laughs> with our leaf box. We have plans here, so we went ahead and ordered the tube extra. I think the tube alone was like six to 800 bucks. I don't even remember now. But uh, yeah, we'll come back to this in one second. We gotta figure out how to get it on the trailer. What if he stuck it over the side on this side? There too, we might be able to grab another pallet and just push it. Hey, as long as we don't dump it like that guy did in the mall video. Oh yeah. boy. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Yeah. So, yeah, Savannah, you want to walk around here a little more? We did a ton of research, guys, and with leaf debris loaders, everybody says if you can go big, go big. And we could, we could afford to do that this year. So we went with the biggest that we could find, which is the Vanguard 37 EFI. This is the exact same engine that is on our ZK also. It's big. Yes, yes it is. Let's get this baby home. All right guys, so just got home. TQ is doing a bunch of stuff. Miley had a doctor's appointment earlier and uh, I went out and knocked out a few by myself. I was hoping to get the church done too, but <clears throat> just, uh dealing with the customer situation that I'll probably go into tomorrow's video. It's a situation I've never dealt with before, kind of weird, and I haven't fully resolved it yet. I'm actually going to run out to her house here in a minute. I'm just going to wait till tomorrow to go into that video because I don't even know everything that's fully going on yet, but I'm going to meet her. Uh, this is a client that we never film at, big house, beautiful house, uh, but something fishy is going on up there, and we got to figure it out. Boom, guys. Let's... uh. Look at it a little bit closer. I don't got a whole lot of room in here, but <laughs> go ahead and show you guys. This is the 37 EFI Vanguard. We picked this up last week, uh, about a week before we got our dump trailer. 
Uh, and yeah, as you can tell, it's humongous. I actually had to go buy a floor jack to get it off the trailer or uh, whatever you want to call these, uh, what do they call these, pallet jacks. Picked this one up at Menards. It was just under like 300 bucks in a weird spot. Like I didn't even know they carried them. I called them and they're like, yeah, come in. We store them up in the top of the warehouse. So I went in and they literally went to the top of the warehouse to get this and brought it down to me, which was extremely odd. But hey, if you're looking for one, great. I'm going to use this also to move uh, skids of salt around this winter. That's why I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Uh, probably not something we'll use a ton, but hey, it helps us to be able to move heavy things around. I can actually lift the mowers up if I need to with it, uh, utilizing a smaller skid. I've really looked into these things. Uh, not to do anything crazy, but if, say, I just want to move something or something breaks down, I can still utilize this. This uh, is rated for... 4,400 pounds. If you guys want to want me to dab into this a little bit more at some point, let me know. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this comes with the tool holder already built into it. And like I said, this is what we're going to marry to our dump trailer. I am trying to figure out if I want to put it on the back of the trailer or do I want to go ahead and put it on the front of the trailer. Uh, I've heard perks. I've heard benefits. I've heard negatives about both. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Should I throw it on the tongue? Should I put it on the back of the tailgate? Obviously the gate that is on there now with the hinges will not hold all of the weight. I didn't think about it, but whenever I ordered the trailer, uh, I should have probably ordered it with more, uh, uh, what do they call them, hinges there. Uh, maybe even one huge hinge to uh, hold this kind of weight. This thing does weigh 600 pounds, guys. With that big 37 on it, it weighs 600 pounds. Uh, I did order the extra tube over here. Uh, don't remind, don't don't mind the rest of the equipment defender. This will be at a later date, but uh, equipment defender hooked us up to do some giveaways at the October 24th event at Schleybot Engine. So we got those bad boys over there. We got some more around here too, kind of hidden. But yeah, we're uh, rocking and rolling. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. I cannot wait to get sucking some leaves this year. I think it's going to really uh, take our game up and above and expand the business. And I'll tell you what, I am not going to miss shoveling and pitchforking and pulling and tarping leaves out of the bed of the truck so yeah guys super super busy here at spencer lawn care we're trying to get ramped up for fall we're also trying to make smart business decisions uh it's just absolutely overwhelming at times but you know it is what it is this is business uh this is pretty much our lives it's crazy hectic all the time but yeah as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye